Hey! So the video you're about to see is going to teach you how to create learning videos slash tutorials using ClipChamp. It's a very handy and amazingly powerful tool that can help you create the best ones around. So stick around to find out why that is. Okay, so I think that concludes this week's meeting then. I'll be sending you a summary of everything we just discussed and then we can get to work. Do you have any other questions before I go? Yes, actually, I do have one thing. We're having trouble getting people to use our system for requesting time off. Is there any chance you guys could maybe make some learnings for us about that? We have to get hundreds of people on one page fast, you know. Well, you don't need us to do that. You can create and add your own learnings very easily yourself. Oh, yeah, but nobody's going to be able to do that here. That's way too complicated. That would mean that we must set up an employee with a computer that can handle video editing and teach them how to do all that stuff. Hmm, even... but what if it wasn't complicated? What if there was an easy way to create learnings fast? Thanks, Ben. No, I think you guys are way better positioned to help us out on this matter. I have an idea. Talk to you later. Wait, hold on. What? Time to meet with the content department. Content department, I have a question. Did you just leave and come back? No time for chit chat guys. I just heard from a customer that they want to have a learning done, but I don't want to start overloading you guys. So I was thinking, what if we made a learning about making a learning? Well, there is ClipChamp. Microsoft acquired them not too long ago. But is it easy to use? Okay, so your company has a brand new system or a change to an already existing system, but not everyone knows the ropes immediately. What are you gonna do about it? You try to explain it, of course. And what better way to explain something to someone than by using a video or a learning. But creating learnings or videos in general is hard. You need to write the script, record a voiceover, record the screen and all the actions that you have to go through. Then you have to edit it all together in a non-linear video editor. And then you finally have something that you can share around with others. That's how we're doing it here at Workplace Buddy at least. But did you know that you can actually create your very own video using a free video editing software called ClipChamp? Want me to show you how? Well, yeah, of course you want me to show you how. You clicked on this video, didn't you? Oh, and while you're clicking, why not click the subscribe button down below for more Workplace Buddy videos in your sub box. Okay, before you start recording your learning, it's important to write either a script or some talking points first. This way, you'll know exactly what to talk about while you record. If you write a script, you're going to want to make sure that you got the naming of each feature exactly right and that you write the script in an easy to understand and friendly manner. Write it like you're talking to a friend. So, don't make it too formal. Also, make sure to write the learning like you're telling the viewer to do something. So instead of writing, now I click on, write, now you click on. It's little things like that that make your learnings feel more personal. Once you're fully done with the script, it's time to open up ClipChamp. ClipChamp should be automatically installed on your Windows 11 device if you have it up to date. If you don't see ClipChamp when you search for it, you may need to install it from the Microsoft Store. Oh, now we're really getting this party started. With ClipChamp now opened, click the Create a Video button at the top of the screen. A new project will now be opened, and it's empty currently, but not for long. Let's go over the main window first, though. At the bottom of the screen, you have the timeline. This is where you'll be putting all your clips and recordings, which will show up in the preview window above it. On the left side, you have everything you need to create or import clips to use for on the timeline. And to the right of the screen, you got properties for any clips that you have selected on the timeline. 
And lastly, at the top of the screen, you got the name of the project. Click on it to change it. All right, now you're ready to record. Click on Record and Create in the sidebar to the left of the screen. You see several options now that you can use to record a video. You can record the screen, record your webcam, and record both the screen and webcam at the same time. That option right there is what you want. Click on it and check if your camera works and you have the right microphone selected. You can change both your webcam and microphone inputs from the drop-down menus. Once you're ready, click the big red button, choose the screen you want to record, and you're off! You can now record everything you want to. Do note, though, that recording is limited to 30 minutes. Once you're done, you can click the stop button again in the ClipChamp window. Preview your recording, and once you're happy with it, click on save and edit. Or if you're not happy, click on retake recording. Of course, you can also record another screen recording or record your webcam to use as an intro or an outro to add onto this existing screen recording if you want to. Great, you just recorded your screen. Now it's time we edit what we've got. But don't worry, I'll hold your hand the whole time. With your recording now open in ClipChamp, you can see it right here on the timeline. Both your webcam and the screen recording are already grouped together. With these handles on the sides of the clips, you can adjust where the clips start and where they end. So if you have a slight pause at the start or at the end of your recording, you can very easily cut that out. You can also split clips by moving the playhead to the location where you want to split and by clicking the scissor icon above the timeline or by pressing S. This way, you can remove any unwanted pauses and such. Amazing! Now, in the preview window, you can adjust the size and position of your clips by clicking and dragging them around and by dragging out the corners of the clips. This way, you can create your own layout. And if you're not happy with the existence of a clip, you can press the backspace button to remove it. As you can see, the clip is also no longer to be found on the timeline. Once you have adjusted your clip and cut it down to exactly what you need, you can add extra elements to make your learning even better. You can add graphics like circles to better point stuff out on the screen. You can even add stock photos, stock videos, music, sound effects, a bunch of text styles and transitions all from the sidebar to the right. All these elements can make your learnings even more glamorous. Do note though that not all of these can be used in the free version. Premium content is displayed with this jewel icon. With the menus to the right, you can adjust the volume of your clips, add filters, adjust the colors, and adjust the settings for your transitions. You can get really creative with all of these options. Alright, now take some time to edit your video and to explore all of these options. And once you're done, click the export button. Let's export a 1080p video as that's the highest quality possible. And there you go, your video is now officially exported. You can now choose to download the video to your computer, upload it directly to a video sharing site, or you can copy and send a link to the video to your coworkers. And hey, why not add the video to Workplace Buddy so you can add a quiz right after it so that you'll know for sure that people will understand everything that you just explained. And there we go! Now we have a learning that your colleagues can watch and learn something from. And hey, that was pretty easy, right? There are many, many things you can do with ClipChamp, and if I have to go through everything in this video, this video will be hours long. So I highly recommend you go ahead and experiment with it yourself. You can get infinitely creative with this kind of stuff, and you can create some amazing videos, I'm sure. And that's all for me this time. Don't forget to subscribe to Workplace Buddy for more videos like this one. And while you're at it, give it a like as well. Oh, also, don't forget to check out our Teams app, also called Workplace Buddy, because on there we have a smorgasbord of learnings that we made ourselves in-house. I've been Mitch from Workplace Buddy, I'll be seeing you in the next video, and I hope that you have an opacatastic day. Oh yeah, nice! There we go, that's what I'm talking about, thanks guys. No problem, hope this will help. Just one question though, what's a smorgasbord? A Swedish buffet-style meal with a variety of hot and cold foods. Oh, cool. And hot. <laughs>